What's up with it? Yeah, what's up, y'all? This is ViHQ, and I'm here to do an interview, man. <laughs> so you're here to do an interview, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm done wearing a while. Man, infamous ViHQ. What's up with it, bro? How you doing today? No day to be alive, man. I love it. Yeah. Made it to 2021 after a crazy year. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a crazy year for everybody. Yeah, most definitely, man. Most definitely, shit. Hopefully, you have a better year this year. I'm looking forward oh, to it. Oh, shit. You know, I'm praying. I'm praying all of us have a better year. Most definitely. Most definitely, bro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, shit, let's just, you know, jump right into it. I damn me. First time I ever um noticed you. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know your name then. It was a Sexy Red video. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. How did that, how did that come about? Um, well, I reached out to her when she was, when she had like 2k followers and uh, I reached out to her like, I'm like, I seen potential in her. Uh -huh. Um, I reached out to her and I was like, yo, let's do, uh, let's work. Like, let me record for you. Cause I got, I had a studio at the time. I was right. living on, uh, 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 off of, uh, Del Mar and Goodfo, Enright Avenue, those uh, St. Luke's Plaza apartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I invited her over there. We, uh, she had recorded some shit, but it didn't really like it didn't really go anywhere. So I was like, so she had another song that she wanted me to, I guess, help out, help her out in the video with. And so I did. Um, you know, we linked up, did the video. You know, I ended up going viral. Yeah, that motherfucker like, did. You know, dumb, that's man. how it all pretty much like. Yeah, well, it started fun. before that, but that definitely kept the momentum. Uh huh. You know, going further and further, and that that song was definitely hot for St. Louis. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, that was, a uh, 2018. That was, yeah, that was the first time I ever heard of Sexy Red, to be honest with you, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it sucks, though, because now she, she got knocked up. She just had her baby. She, she, yeah, 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 she, was she got knocked man. up, but, but I, I know who she, man, look. She's stupid thick, man. Bro, it's crazy. Look, I mean, I, I wish her best of luck, for yeah. real. Like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I, I always wish the best for luck, but, like, she, we could have went farther, say, has she... Included me on in her project because like people was looking at us like skipping around. Like, I get what you you're saying. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have played it off like man, we could have seen Hollywood with that shit. Like a white I get what boy, you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I mean? Just kept playing, you yeah. know. But she, nah, she didn't understand that. She wasn't into that. So I'm cool. Like I'm chilling. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, she's still doing her thing. You still doing your thing at the end of the day. So yeah. so y'all both, y'all both still prosper. So yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, that's good, yeah. man. So shit, you show you've been working shit. Just released. Um, well, you can release a lot of shit. I think yeah. one of your recent projects was the Harry Potter. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was that was a song where I addressed a few things in. Um, you know, people love the beef shit and all that, and here in St. especially here in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. That's um, it's kind of like what pushes things around here in St. Louis. Where yeah, everybody yeah. does. Sad to say. Sadly, yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I mean, you know, Heavy G talked about this uh, in his one four point one interview uh, a while ago. He said if motherfuckers was actually to market to have, I guess, a fake beef in a way, but they market it to make it look real, right? Make money off of it, and nobody dies. Yeah. But yeah, it's just. I mean, it'll work for the artists, but the fans who don't know, you gotta. I mean, you gotta be going around to people. Oh, it's not real. It's not real. But the fans don't know that shit. Yeah, and that's they what I'm saying. That's why you can make it look real. Yeah, yeah. Like even, that's, the, that's a dangerous game. Though. Like look, though, even look, <laughs> even I, man, I thought I thought D Hunter and, and Lil Tay beef was was fake first. Honestly, yeah. I'm I may be wrong, but I asked him a while ago, like a long time ago, and he said it was fake. I don't know. I mean, he might have just said just said it. Who said it? D. Uh huh. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's probably not fake though. Considering they're naming all those, I don't know, man. It's it's the way I think about it. It's entertainment. People, it's still regardless of you know, it might be fucked up or whatnot, but it's entertainment, man. People tune in. Yeah, people definitely uh, thrive off, like you say, the bullshit, man. And that's all it is right now. I mean, look at what fucking Trump is doing, bro. Look at what the politicians are doing. You know what I mean? It's like it's everywhere now. It's like, so you see all the shit that was going on yesterday? Oh man, yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I see you posted, yeah. Was, yeah, bro. People, people tune into my store. I be posting. I be posting real shit, man. It, we're like this whole this whole election was say Civil War twenty twenty one. That's coming. I don't know. I don't know if uh, 
people are too scared to do to do anything now. People are. I don't think people people got the balls to go out with a gun and actually get the shooting just going. And, well, well, they did some crazy shit rushing in the Capitol yesterday. Then what? Yeah, they took out the podium, <laughs> yeah. the podium in the House of Representatives. I think, but look, it's all, bro. It was all planned. It was mm-hmm. all planned. You think, you you think, man. We spent how much on military and defense? You think? That's what I you was think like. they go, bro? You seen that picture or you seen that video of an African American police officer trying to stop a group of Trump support? Yeah, yeah. Bro, it was all planned. It was. It's all in our faces, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was so easy for them to get in. I mean, dude, they got into fucking Nancy Pelosi's office. You know what I mean? Her office were her documents. Man, that's some wild shit. They, they, that's bro. I've seen a lot of people like you know, like the Black Lives Matter groups and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I think about it. Her, her in St. Louis, we had the Ferguson riot. You see how their reaction was to that? That's the fuck. That's the cap. That's the U.S. government building. Exactly. Why wasn't it was a similar reaction? It's um, <laughs> or something even come. It's close a way to, to it. divide us, bro. It's you know, you know they, they you know they're playing blacks and whites, man. You know they're literally marking us against each other. It sucks. Is that yeah. the game though? That's like the game. Like you say, it's like it's divide sad. and conquer. That's that's the way to do it, man. That they people draw off the bullshit. Whether it's the rap shit or the like you say, shit, the po- political shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and that's the thing. Like I don't I don't know if I'm be doing like I, I I always took rap as inter- as a form of entertainment. Mm-hmm. You know, even though I'm, I have some good songs, I have some trash songs. You know, but I I don't know if I'm be rapping my whole life. Like I go I. I'm doing this shit. Like some like I'm doing like, this shit. Nah, man. Like even right now, I'm doing this shit. I'm mm-hmm. not. I'm not like I'm. I may be a rapper on my Instagram. Yeah. yeah. But what like, else you got going on? You say you're doing another shit. What else you got? Going um. On? Well, stuff that I can't talk about. Uh, uh, I'm working on a documentary. Okay. For St. Louis. Um, it's gonna be. Uh, I don't want to say honestly. I don't want to say too much. Uh, but it's. It, it, it's gonna be like Pete without saying too much. Then. It's. It's a, it's gonna be a comedy documentary basically about my life, about like my ethics. And, well, not my ethics, but like just the shit that I do, like regular daily life. Uh-huh. Like it, my, my my engineer Ron, he literally follows me with the camera and like we do shit and like it it, it is gonna be funny as fuck. Basically, that's all I'm saying. Hey man, like my fuck is gonna look just, out like, for it. What? Huh? And you say, just tell motherfuckers look out yeah, for mo- it. Yeah, motherfuckers, bro. People are going to d- die watching that. Like it's funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> we still haven't came up with a name for it, man. <laughs> we still haven't came up with a name for it, but we're pushing it. We got a budget for it. Um, we got some people that, we got a team that's working on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Much success to your project, man. You know? Much success excited. to it, shit. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Looking forward yeah, to seeing it. Yeah, like, music, I feel like, I've always been kind of like, it's like, I don't know, like, something for me to entertain myself with. Like, I, would, I wouldn't mind acting later on in life. I mean, that's where mm-hmm. the money's at. You know? Yeah, yeah. Music's cool or whatnot, but shit, acting and doing movies or whatever the fuck you're doing in business. That's what I want. That's what I want to do. See, all this shit, man. Mm-hmm. So, you like, even what you say, like, with the music, people feeding off the bullshit. Like you say, you got other songs where, where you, like, um, shit, where you ain't this and the things like that but it seems like most of your attention is from the bullshit yeah <laughs> like the shit with you know other rappers and things like that yeah hey stop biting on that <laughs> is that marty my cat <laughs> yeah marty the cat you had a cat on um, rat tweet video oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so the cat outside too <laughs> you sleeping on there but yeah um yeah, I was just saying about like the, um, the music, people drawing off the bullshit, like the whole thing issues. What you got? I don't, I don't know if it's like you say. I don't know if it's real or not, but um, like the stuff you got going on with like the thirty D, two bucks, and bookie clocks, and things like that. Yeah, man, it's all funny. I mean, it's all funny, man. These motherfuckers pretend like they all gangsta and shit. They is not about that life at all, bro. They don't do none of that, bro. Like motherfuckers want to clout chase. That's all it's about. It's all about numbers and cloud chasing. Like, yeah, motherfuckers died and shit here and there, but it's like, it's crash outs behind them. Those mm-hmm. motherfuckers themselves, they're not doing shit anymore, bro. Right. They stay in the house. Yeah, that's what I was saying about, like, you saying, pe- like, rappers beefing, but, like, I say the people who behind them. Exactly. The people, yes, it's, yeah, the, it's, yeah. it's the crash outs behind them. I mean, bro, they, people would crash out over a repost on the story, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. That's why you gotta move smart. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, do you, like, you don't never just, like, worry about, about yourself? Like, there's been a few incidents, like, like, um, <laughs> with, like, Oh, uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I trust God. I believe in God. God has guided me so far. Um, God has protected me. So has his Glock. So has my weapon, <laughs> my armory, man. You know? I'm good. I'm be straight. I'm be straight. I'm be straight. Um, I'm not really worried about it. Anything happening. Motherfuckers know where I stay. Motherfuckers know my apartment letter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good, man. I'm straight. Motherfuckers is not trying to do that. Yeah, yeah. I know um, one of the people um, from 3D camp. Um, he came out here before. And he left just as fast. You say he, he left <laughs> just as fast. He hopped out of the car for what? Count it. Count that video. 15, 15 seconds, man. I was talking how long he was out of the car. And my phone was saying I was running back. I was walking back. And I was trying, man, I, I don't know what I'm going to say what I was trying to do, man. I'm, I'm still going to do it. Yeah. Like, man, I was, man, I, I'm, man, look, I'm not enticing violence or anything like that. Uh-huh. I don't want to entice violence. That's not my goal. I mean, shit, like, the shit you doing, though, I say, you can't be, that's like, you know what I'm saying, they can't, you playing with fire, like, of course you get the attention and get the, um, it's trolling, it's trolling, like, it's kind of like, like, how, um, what's his name, Takashi, Takashi 6 9 is kind of doing a similar thing, you know, on the mainstream orders, you know, mm-hmm. you doing it locally, and they like, man, like, I don't know, like, like, even you, like, you got to the point where your car was shot up, things like that, you yeah. know, no, I definitely put myself through some shit, um, it's a lesson learned. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Yeah. Every day, man. You, every day you gotta live like it's it's your last day, but you gotta let like you gotta learn like you gonna live forever. And that's that's how I take it, man. All those incidents that happen, and shit. That, those are lessons. Uh huh. And I'm obviously not gonna you know put my life in danger like that again. Yeah, yeah man. Or that's why I say that. that. Careful. Yeah, you know. But like, shit ain't a game for real. Like some people, like motherfuckers, actually take shit serious. Like you draw, you draw some. We post something, they would actually like try to like you know do something. But that's why I say yeah, it's like you gotta think about this city like St. Louis, man. You know, you know just from being like you say you've been out here long enough. Bro, so. y'all been, I bro, I, I, I live in St. I moved. A lot, of, a lot of motherfuckers don't know this about me. No. I moved to America when I was nine. Yeah, I stayed with a, my family, my mom, but like my family was very dysfunctional in the way like like. Well, um, where did you come from? Where do you move from? I came from Ukraine, oh. which is center of uh, Europe. <coughs> <coughs> um, <coughs> motherfuckers, motherfuckers don't know us, man. I came out of poverty. Mm. My grandma lives in an apartment that's probably, probably about as big as this room. She makes like fucking her pension is like six dollars a month. People don't yeah, know this. 60. Uh, $60. $60 a month. $60 a month. That's still, yeah. <laughs> in Ukraine. And can you survive raised, off that in Ukraine? Yeah. Okay. Can, well, she can. Okay, okay. Um, We obviously help her as well. My yeah. family, I help her. She doesn't want to be helped, though. That's that's the craziest part. Like, she, like, so independent. Like, I can't help my... Like, she doesn't... You know what I mean? But that's what people don't understand. People don't understand. I came from a third world country. Mm-hmm. Literally. And there's a lot of other shit. There's a lot of other shit. Like the country before that, USSR, like that was communism and, so- and, and, and that was Soviet Russia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was communism and socialism. That's what my family came out of. And here we are in America with this COVID. We're going to, a, we, we are already a socialist country with all the, with the big government. So we're kind of going to that. And a lot of motherfuckers don't. You know, a lot of like people don't reverting? understand this. A lot of people like don't. Reverting, like you, like exactly, because look, who, look who killed who killed USSR in 1993 it was America. Right. So America and China are teaming up to do the same thing to America. I think, in my opinion, yeah. And it's 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 already laid out with this digital dollar and all this stuff that's going on. Yeah, man. I research a lot of shit like. Yeah, that's why I just be watching to see stuff you sharing and stuff. That's like why that. motherfuckers follow my story. That's why yeah, I get so many stories. I be tuning in to that shit. I be posting some real shit, man. Like, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Why well, you, you say your family was like they kind of like was it like they fleeing from the country at the time they like, left and came here? Um, crazy you say that. Um, <coughs> that's insane. 
insane that you say that, bro. Mm -hmm. In 2008, when the whole thing was going on, I mean, there was there was a financial crisis everywhere. Right. That's when we moved. We moved here 2008, 2009. <coughs> in Ukraine, there was a whole revolution going on in the center of Kiev, the capital where we lived. There was literally a million people camping out, protesting against the government. Mm. Like, kind of what they did with Washington, D.C., they did that, but but it, there, they were shooting and killing people, like the government. Yeah. So it was bad. Like, people had to end up overthrowing the president, literally. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we, we, we moved out of. I, um, there was some other shit that happened, too, and I'm not going to go into it. To my family, um, that kind of put, put, uh, I, I guess you could say, my mom's life in danger. Something happened. Some that she was associated with happened. We just she. I only just learned this myself recently. For, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Because she didn't want to tell me. Um, but yeah, there's there's a reason we're here, man. There's a reason we're here, not not anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Being here, did you move straight to St. Louis? Or okay. Yep. Like coming into America, come to St. Louis. How was that experiences? How was that um. <coughs> The initial complete, impact. Complete, yeah. complete, complete change, man. <coughs> I mean, man, what you smoking on, man? Man, Wolfpack Camp, man. You get that thing, yeah. man. <laughs> you cough up a lung in this one. Oh, man, this is shit. Um, what was I saying? You were talking about the, um, the, um, coming to St. Louis. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a complete cultural shock. I mean, everything's different here. Everything is a completely different country. America has it very good. I'm going to say it right here, right now. America has it very, very good. That's why we moved here. That's why people want to move here. America has it good for now. Um, all this, like, people, like, think about it. People can sign up for welfare, can get benefits, can go out and get food. You can get internet access now mm -hmm. off welfare. If you think about it, what other country does that? Right. In the world. Motherfuckers not. Motherfuckers have their electricity cut off. No internet. Food. You you want food? You go big. You know what I mean? Go make money or something. Like, there's no... There's not welfare. I mean, like... You know what I mean? There's not a welfare. You just gotta get it. Shit. You got... Exactly, <laughs> bro. And... Well, and in, it's different in America. And, um... I think it's gonna change. It's already changing. It was saying like the, With the COVID. Mm -hmm. That was just the start, man. There was a lot of stuff behind COVID. Um, but moving here was uh, was a was a. I think it's a good experience because I can do a lot. There's a lot more opportunities here than there. What do you mean, like a lot more? Like what you're saying, like opportunities. America like most people of opportunity. From, yeah, yeah. I'm saying most people come from foreign countries because of like. Like you say, the government, how the government has <coughs> ran things like that. Like, it's more <coughs> freedom here. It's more assistance and things like that. Well, supposedly, there's more freedom here. Um, president, Our own president just got blocked off of Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Wow. <laughs> you know, so our First Amendment is going away. I'm going to call it right now. They're going to change the Constitution. You say right now. You know, that's, oh, like, yeah. that's what... And people have called it... People that I watch call it before me, so I can't really take credit for it, but... In St. Louis, I might be the worst person to say it. I'm going to say it right now, man. They're going to change the Constitution. That whole White House breach, man, was just part of the play. It was part of the agenda. It was, it was the Capitol. Too f Not the White House. The Capitol. What yeah, the fuck yeah. it was, man. <laughs> what the fuck it was, man. It was a part of the agenda to to take more control from us uh -huh. and get more control. There was people saying, like, you're starting to, it's going to be like almost like the martial law, change polices and things like police. What happened to Nazi Germany? I don't know. What happened? What were they doing with the Jews? Oh, uh, like with saying like the Holocaust thing, they was killed. Genocide. Them. Genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think they're doing now with the is COVID it? vaccine? I heard that. What is it called? Um, it's fucked up. Population control. Oh, ah, <laughs> Global Report two thousand man, written nineteen eighty, goes over that. Goes over pretty much how I mean, dude. Bill Gates said it himself. Like they're trying to. The media is marketing Bill Gates as this computer scientist doctor that's going to save us all. There's literally, like, Snopes.com and, like, articles about him, how he's became the villain, how he's not. That man wants to chip us all. That, excuse me, all these vaccines, they change your mRNA. Meaning they literally change, like, almost the operating system of your immune system. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I they're... And 
right now, I mean, a lot of people are disagreeing with it. They're not going to get the... I'm not. I'm never getting the vaccine, bro. I'm not getting it. Uh, but it's going to come time when they're going to shame us into it. It's going to come time when you can't travel without it. Mm -hmm. It's going to come time when you can't go to a business without it. Um, sad, sad world. Sad change for, for many. Yeah, I never witnessed nothing like this in my lifetime. Uh, hey, look, it happens a bit. There's a pandemic every hundred years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And one, this one's different because I personally think this one was was actually created. Yeah. A lot like, of people said that in the beginning. Um, a lot of people and, and spread. Yeah. And not necessarily from China. <laughs> they just say in China. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. There's a lot of shit that us people don't know. Like, knowledge is power, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. There's... Like, they want to dumb us down to the max so that we don't know shit, confuse us, have us go against each other before we find out the truth, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, it's all, it's all goddamn me, propaganda, shit, mind control, that's all it is. I got books on mind control. I do too. Shit, so I, so I know, yeah. Mandarin Effect? Yeah, I know, I, know. I ain't got that book, but I got, you know, books. <coughs> or, I think it's called something else, I might be. <coughs> yeah, man. <coughs> I think they're already getting rid of... I mean, look at the education system here in America, man. I'm fucking... Like, they're they're not teaching us what we, what we need to know about money. That's why everybody's broke. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody's fucking broke. They don't have that in the school system. Like, just like... The, this should be a basic class, like, for, like, math and things like that. Taxes. We pay we pay most, most of our income to taxes. Yeah. They don't teach us anything about taxes. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying because they dive. don't want us to know. I'm trying to dive into that now. I like bro, they want Trump to keep us. Don't stupid. have to pay nothing. You hear me? Making billions of dollars. They don't pay. What you pay like seven hundred dollars in taxes? Um, uh, <laughs> no, the way it works is with real uh, realty. Um, you have a property. Uh -huh. You take out a thirty-year fixed mortgage on the property, and you can literally use that credit line without, and you're not paying taxes on that credit. Simple. Yeah. Uh, I, that's that's why I want to buy property. I'm a I, I don't have pro like I want to buy property like that's, yeah, something, yeah, that's, I that's something I'm working into too yeah. myself man yeah like that's I'm trying to do bigger shit <laughs> definitely shit yeah man yeah. yeah there's a lot going on in the world man people need to definitely open their eyes man get off the bullshit yeah and, and that and that that's the thing um we all gotta we all gotta come together man eventually it's gonna come together because they gonna keep setting us against each other keep, keep just keep us blind us. keep us blind yeah. to what's really going until on until we wake up and it's it's gonna be a drastic change in the next 10 years like this whole bit was like a pin in the bubble uh -huh. a lot of bubbles and there's gonna be drastic changes coming most definitely most these definitely. masks of compliance are just the beginning yeah <laughs> literally <laughs> it's sad yeah I don't know how long I hope you don't go on too much longer who knows you know but I'm saying, with you knowing all this shit, man, why do you go about the way you do, like with the rap and shit like that? <coughs> why do you do that shit? <coughs> Entertainment. But don't. like I say, you know, you know exactly. Like you say, you smart to know that people gonna draw on to that shit. Because I know that hate is like trolling and hate. Well, not hate, but like trolling and like that kind of like dark humor in a way. Mm -hmm. Shock value. It brings more. Attention than just like, you know. Get that, oh, like, damn. That's, yeah. that's, that's, it's a, I, I read in a book, Contagious. That's a trigger effect. Make people, um, like, damn, like, you, like, even like, the, um, they say, call it clickbait, the title exactly. and things like that. You read the title, like, damn, I don't know what he said. Sure. If you say some basic real shit, like, just, you know, <coughs> anybody going anything, they're going to look over that. <coughs> but you say some, or even shot 50 times, you're like, damn, what the fuck? How? You hear me? What did he say about it? Probably be a two second, ten second clip out of the whole ten minute video he talking about that, but you don't watch the whole video <laughs> until you hear what the fuck he said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, like yeah. you say, it's just a, it's just the shock value, man. Yeah. <clears throat> with with you saying all that, and I'm asking you that, like you say you steering away from the music, but <clears throat> if you do, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, but you taking a break from it. What did you I say? Did you not? What you I'm say? Taking then? a break from dropping music. Okay. I made a song yesterday. Okay, well, will your future projects, your future song that you make, will you continue to diss? He made probably made it this yesterday. 
<laughs> he just like made it. Nah, you know, Quan Quan Ron didn't show up in St. Louis, so I'm, oh, I, look, uh, man. I didn't drop that. I didn't drop. Oh that. man, I was thinking of finishing. That Why you like? Uh, yeah, even with that, like the Quan Ron that I seen you, um, you know, just making posts why about. Did he, why didn't he? Why didn't he fight King Ron, man? Fair and square. I why mean, he was. Fight? Yeah, I think about it. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna get into all of that, but just as a general general person in a situation like that. Okay, you see your man fighting, and then I mean, it's like 30, 50 motherfuckers walking up behind the person he's fighting. You're not finna get out. If you that's just a human instinct, a, a, a street nigga instinct. Not even say it's a human, just a street person instinct. They gonna shoot out the gate. You hear me? They gonna shoot out. You know, flat out. I ain't even say, oh, get up off him. Yeah, you know, it's you ain't, you ain't trying to, you know. I can see if it was like a couple motherfuckers, then you gonna jump in probably, you know. Shit, yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. It was fucked up. Yeah. <clears throat> it was, was fucked up how it happened. I was watching, man. R.I.P. Vine, you know. I was watching Chopscar's story and video. Yeah. I was watching, man, the, the family of his. Uh huh. I mean, both sides of it, man. Yeah. Both sides of it. Both sides losing though, man, because you know it ain't over. <laughs> of course not. It's not over. That's why. That's why he came to St. Louis, bro. Right. Yeah. All focus was trying to set him over here. Yeah, think about that, man. I ain't gonna get into all that. Yeah, <laughs> but just, um, <clears throat> but just that, like I'm just saying, like even, yeah, it just, it just, yeah, you no. Know. Shit, hope for the best. Hope for the best for him. <laughs> you just... always got to prefer the worst. He said, whoa. Yeah, y'all. He said, y'all. You do, man. But yeah, um, speaking of just him um, not coming to the movie, it was um, Lil Xan. That show. What about it? They canceled this show, man. You heard about that? Yeah. What happened with that, man? Man, you remember the day before that show? He said the, he said the N-word at the mall? Hmm. Uh. I ain't hear it. Yeah. You didn't hear that? I no, no, that. yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he, right, right before he came to St. Louis, uh -huh. there's a viral video of him, I think in a Minnesota or Tennessee, I don't even know where, somewhere, at a mall. I'm just like screaming that word. Yeah. Got this dude, or this dude, I don't even know. Like, I don't. And they canceled the show, and then they used me as a scapegoat. I think, I think there was, I think there was two sides to it. He didn't want to come here, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't. I don't even know if he got that many sales. Like I, I think, I, and I think they they just wanted to use me as a scapegoat as well. It, they wanted to like. I mean, it was. They it used was, pretty much used me as the the like hey to uh, to promote to promote fucking the school shootings and shit. To, like the media literally painted me as a school shooter. Wow. I seen um what's his name a comedian Reggie Gill. Like you think you took like a picture in like front of the arts? You was downtown or something with your gun. I don't know if it was it Photoshop or not. I don't know. Like me? Yeah, yeah. You like downtown? You had oh yeah, I was downtown. With the with back. Yeah, on me. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he showed you a picture. He like somebody. Yeah, he like a school shooter or something like that. I don't. know, I just seen it. Just uh, it, was, I mean, it was it was a while ago. No nah, man, I support the Second Amendment. That's all it is. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right to bear arms, man. Right. Especially being here in St. Louis, damn right, shit, damn right. Yeah man, shit. Hey, I had that was a fun day, man. I had both both reactions. I had people high finding me, and I had people <laughs> running call the cops. <laughs> but that's the time we live in, though. It's, people don't understand that it's open carry. Yeah. It's, you can you can just oh, you ain't gotta have your you only you gotta have your license. That's just a law. You hear me? Yep. They openly carry your gun. Yep. But people be so afraid, and not even them be educated about things like that, man. So, like you say, you probably got missed. You ask people how fat, you're like, damn, right, that's what's up. You probably like, exposed <laughs> to a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was all, bro. There was a, a, a viral picture of a, of a girl going to a campus, a, a student. Mm -hmm. Like some girl going to campus with an AR that went viral, and she was wearing a Trump hat or something. I don't even know, some bullshit, something like that. Yeah. That went viral. Like, it's, we can't have guns. Hell yeah. And they they probably gonna try to take us our dumb way with the next administration with the whole I heard, I democratic. Heard. It's gonna be a democratic sweep probably. I heard. They gonna try like to take that. our freedoms away, just like with these masks. With these vaccines. Man, everybody giving their guns up, man. It's still they. What's gonna do? They like you know, they finna just come take the buy guns back. off the streets. Gun buyback. <clears throat> but nobody finna. <clears throat> nobody finna get their guns up. The streets they gonna have the guns. 
So who the fuck finna say, oh, I'm gonna just give you my gun back? <laughs> it's funny. The robbers and killers, they got <laughs> I'm gonna give you mine back. Fuck that. No, yeah. man, you could actually 3D print parts to a gun and yeah. take it to a buyback. Biden buyback. That was on your display on his website. You could actually 3D print. Well, you gotta have a good printer. You gotta yeah, have yeah, a good 3D printer. Go printed. to the Magic House, they have one. Uh, you gotta print an <laughs> AR lower. There's some, like 3D models online. Yeah. Print a shit ton of those, take them to a buy, buy, buy back. Profit. Hey, money. <laughs> Bad print at your own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep printing off of it, make a factory out of it, motherfucker. Fuck it. <clears throat> Allegedly, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. It's like you got the music, you know, going and things like that. Like, how do you begin like your features? You got a lot of features, like with rappers and stuff like that. I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, you got features with El Al Marsh, Five One, Five One, um, Gunner. Shit, he worked me on the song. Yeah, then you got a feature with um, Lil Mo. Yeah. And, um, bro, I, I like collaborating game. with people. I like collaborating with people, like. Atlanta is a lot more collab collaborative than St. Louis. Uh, and it's sad because motherfuckers should just start collabing more. You know. I think my uh, my favorite feature that you got was the rally tonight. Yeah, yeah. that was dope ass song, dope ass <laughs> visual. That was something cool. Like that was, that was a good ass song. Man. It's crazy because I couldn't promote. It. I couldn't. I, well, I spent a lot. I actually spent a lot of money, man. Uh -huh. Wasted a lot of money on it because yeah, actually. I ended up being like limited um, monetization, so I, I pretty much made shit from it because it had ass in it, a bunch of ass. Oh, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per apparently, Cardi B can do it, but somebody he's like say, me, nah. He's like, nah. nah. Why would nah? <laughs> he's like, nah. I used to Cardi B doing the shit. Like, you, who the fuck is you? Yeah, That's <laughs> no, crazy, bro. These platforms. I mean, granted, with the tactics that I've done, mm -hmm. bro, like I literally can't like. Motherfuckers be stealing my content, making fake profiles, posting racist yeah, shit yeah, under yeah. under Donald Trump's posts, getting thousands of likes, and then putting my videos up and shit. Like as a matter of fact, it happened to like with the video tonight, uh -huh. today, tonight, today. Right, so he he commented, the dude. He, he, I don't even want to put his name out there. He said, <laughs> Bruh, like it's going viral. That account is going, going viral because he posted some shit saying how Donald Trump twenty twenty. And then Donald Trump Jr. 2020 to 20, 2024 to 2028. Yeah. And like a bunch of, and like he was saying like all kinds of like weird ass like shit and actually had like so much, 700 comments, replies underneath the comment. Wow. You know what I mean? And you, and you know what the, you know what his profile picture was? You. <laughs> Crazy. Man. And they still not going to give me that. Like I want the blue check on Instagram. I want to be verified because people are using my shit. They stealing your shit, man. Exactly. He got that scene. He did like a stunt. Like he went to a church. Like if he was in California, went inside the church or something. Oh man. That's something. Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, crazy. Man. He said, "Nobody in this church on no smoke." Man, I should, I should not have done that. Man. <laughs> what I, happened behind that, man? He man. caught your ass. How? <laughs> He tried man, to get up out of Catholics there. Run fast, bro. <laughs> he tried to get up. They caught your ass with me. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> like a moral comment. Oh, me. He tried no, to get up they, out yeah, of there. Man. Hey, man, they almost charged me with phone. For real? Man. I... Man. Hey. Yeah. I had to do fucking 80 hours community service and shit. Yeah. Damn. All kinds of shit. I said like man, do uh, but I was probably like I want I wanted to hear the backstory today, like what happened after that. Bro, they they tackled the fuck out of me, arrested me. Yeah. They was debating on whether or not to charge me with a felony. Man. <laughs> hey, man and then good. and then look the uh the um like they they found my green card so they figured out that I was an immigrant. Oh, <laughs> so, man. so they ended up like <laughs> LA <laughs> Because they're like very like pro, I don't know, like they're pro, you know what I mean? They're like very democratic. Uh -huh. So they was like, they totally switched up. They're like, oh, okay, we're going to go with a lesser charge. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bro, like, man. I don't know, man. I guess I'm thankful for it because shit, because the felony would, could have possibly got me deported to Ukraine. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. I'm, I ain't trying to go back right now. They would have, like, you would have been separated from your family then. So you probably got, no, you probably still got family down there, I'm sure. All of it? My grandma. Yeah, okay. 
my my dad, well, my biological dad, who's who, who's like I don't really we don't talk. He doesn't not in contact to my father. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, if you have kids, I hope you correct that. Yeah. He's saying, he's saying, oh, yeah, oh, no, bro. <laughs> it's crazy you say that, bro. Oh, look right there, man. Going on, man. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't having kids for a little while. Uh-huh. I'm going to be a good father, though. Yeah. Yeah, I want, I, want to, I want to take care of my kids. Why bro. you make that face, though, when I said that? Bro, I ain't going to. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> you change the subject, man. Change the yeah. subject. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. How was you able to get the, um, in the NWMC murder feature? I threw him 50 bucks in some Zans. Get the fuck out of here. Swear to God. Yeah. I pulled up on, <laughs> I pulled up on Dressel. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I, I mean, I recorded, like, we, we was vibing. He showed me his Comethazine song. It was before he got big or just, like, doing all the... It was a uh, while, kind of while they were blowing up. Like, I was okay, okay. them. I, I was fucking with, uh, with, with their music at first, like, but Grimey, bro, like, Grimey, like, he... Bro, that's 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 a whole other story. Um, I was cool with his brother at first. Mm -hmm. Bert, like we was cool. I we did a song, and his his brother never liked me for some reason. Like I don't know why. Who? Grammy. Oh, Grammy never liked you. Yeah, like he, like yeah, he just he <laughs> always like he always like I don't know, bro. I, I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go suck a dick for all I care, but. Say, Grimey wasn't having that shit. <laughs> Look, no, you know why he doesn't like me? Because he made it, whenever he was blowing up, um, he paid for a, a World Star post and yeah. they actually said sponsored in the beginning. And then he said, and then he made a post, like flexing, saying, um, I'm the first rapper from St. Louis to go on World Star. <laughs> Yeah, he said he's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's so stupid because it's like King B got on there with with you know what I mean. Uh huh. I got on there with fucking sexy red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he paid for a post, and he supposed and I, I look. All I did was make a comment that got a bunch of likes. It got all the way to the top. <laughs> Damn. So that's you think that's what it was? Bro, he blocked me after. Or no, no, he didn't block me. He like he said that he gonna smack the shit out of me when he sees me. You know the usual when they say. Um, and I just, like, I just said, bro, like, granted, I'm not a very humble person myself sometimes, but, like, you gotta be humble, like, mm -hmm. and he, yeah, you just paying for it and then saying you the first one, no, nah. I mean, you know what I mean, it's like, and I'm getting butthurt after you get called out for it, and look, I wasn't the only one that called him out for it, yeah. it was other people that was, but, but then again, that goes with the, with the hateful marketing, I don't know, man, I don't know. It's all bullshit, yeah. I would think you probably say because, um, was, I don't know if it was, I'm sure that was after, or the diss track that you made. Well, look, right nah, now. it's crazy, though, because look, nah, he dissed me first on his story. He dissed me first, so whenever, whenever me and, uh, that lame ass fucking old dude, Greg Styles, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> DJ, DJ Styles, DJ Styles <laughs> yeah, that pays every fucking artist to show ch pretty much for a fan photo. That's how you got all them photos, man. Uh, he do got a lot of photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways. You talking about the, um... Yeah, so he... DJ Styles, uh, me and him had a fallout after, like, a bunch of shit happened. Like, the Fizz raided my house. Uh -huh. And, like, they did a lot of damage to it. So I had to, I had to basically, like, I was pretty much, pretty much homeless in a way. Kind of. I mean, I was staying with somebody. Um... But he, I ended up, like, having a fallout with him. And that f whole Facebook post went viral. And Grimy posted it on his story, shared it on his story, and, like, put a bunch of, like, clown emojis, called me, like, I don't even know what he said. He just, like, you know, followed, went with the hype. Yeah. And that was the diss, man. He was, you know, so I was like, fuck you, man. Yeah. I'm going to diss you now. <laughs> that what made you shoot the video? And things yeah. Like that? Some people saying you shot that video early in the morning. Fuck no, I shot it at 5 p. I was there at 6 p.m. to 7. Dude, rallies was open, dude, and there's there's a dude that can vouch for me that actually worked. Bro, I... No. I shot that motherfucker at 6 p.m. Actually, bro, I have a video. I have a thing on my phone where it says, you know, at the top where it says the time. Yeah. Got things to prove. 
because I, I shot a, a like a selfie when I was yeah, around yeah, three. Yeah, it was it was I think it was a six, six yeah six 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 oh seven if I'm not mistaken. PM. So yeah, <laughs> that was funny, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. Yeah, that shit was funny. Yeah, man. But like I was saying, shit, closing out here with all of, you know, the recent, you know, losses and just the rap community, you know, with the main street artists and just going to say, focus on the St. Louis artists that we lost, you know, last year, just in the recent years. Yeah. Like, with all that happening, did that make you kind of like, you know, kind of reconsider the oh, actions yeah. that you're doing? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I definitely, uh, I mean, I'm going to this, I think this documentary is going to put. Shed a light on it. Yeah, on everything. Yeah. Everything, like, of course, like, what did you. Cause, cause, man, that's just, it's, it's like, it's, man, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's going to put everything in the spotlight. Like, everything going to be kind of, like, explained. Like, literally, the, the, in a documentary, like, they're talking to my neighbors and shit. Really? You know what I mean? Like, there is a whole lot. There's a whole lot, and I'm going to be coming out and tear out soon with a trailer, with, like, little previews, teasers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's going to put, yeah, but I, I that dissing, that shit, that dissing shit, I mean, I, for the most part, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm a, I'm a fan. There's no way. I, mean, I, think, I feel like I, I've already dissed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's enough. Ain't nobody else to get to Everybody, nobody's safe, cuz. <laughs> Dude, was fucked up. But yeah, I'll say just closing out here. You got um any words of advice? Uh, any last words that you like to get out? Any words of advice for who? Um, shit, your fans, shit, just people going through the struggle. I just you know inspiration. Words Man, inspiration. we all gotta stay together, all of us. We all gotta unite because at the end of the day, it's us versus them, and them being the government. And, you know what I mean? We all gotta unite. We all gotta come together. We all gotta fucking. Bro, if we if we all come together and go against the government, that's a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not I'm not trying to incite violence here or nothing, but like if eventually our freedoms do get taken away and like bro, we, we all gonna feel it. Yeah. It's bad enough that shit might go down, man. Oh shit. Oh, it's airsoft, so yeah. <laughs> But um yeah, let the people know where they can find you at on social media. Yeah, man, y'all can find me at uh, Vlad HQ anywhere. Instagram, YouTube. Um, go check out my videos. Uh, keep an eye out for that documentary, man. I'm putting my soul in it. It's going, man, it's, it's going to be funny as fuck, too. Um, man, that's it, man. But yeah, good shit, man. Good interview. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah, for sure, bro.